Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you a very simple method to model rake ceiling. So here I have two rooms. So I'm going to model two rake ceiling uh, in these rooms. So, so this one will be uh, the height on this side will be 2100. On this side will be three meter. So I just so this is in ceiling plans. Okay. So go ceiling automatic ceiling click and then select this ceiling edit boundary use a slope arrow here here okay so and then select this um, slope arrow and use a hard at tail and then level at tail so which is here this is tail this is head so tail 2100 so I'll choose ground floor 2100 and then level at head which is here 3 meter change it to ground floor 3 meter and apply and OK so now if I go to 3D view and do a do the spot level 2100 3 meter so let's try this one so this one on this side 2780 and on this side 2345 so go see seating create one select edit boundary slope arrow so doesn't matter which way you, uh, the arrows go so you just we'll just do it here like this and uh, then height at tail level at tail tails here 2780 ground floor 2780 and level at head ground floor 2345 2345 apply okay 3d view so level here 2345 so yeah that's it so very simple and uh, just just bear in mind um, so this level won't affect anything so you can just even you change this the ceiling won't move so it will so you can only like a, um, adjust how to use, use these so okay so um, this will also work on floor or I mean I think roof as well let's try roof so if I create a roof so without maybe without slope and you can do this so doesn't matter which level it is so in this case it's level 1 but uh, if I add a slope arrow so select this slope arrow and I change if I change here to ground floor uh, 2400 maybe uh, the other side this is tail which is here and this side um, maybe ground floor 27 and apply okay so now let's let's have a uh, so that's ah sorry because roof roof level will be on the the low underneath the, the roof so that's 24 the other base of this roof 27 this side so yeah if if you do it as a floor it's the same so doesn't matter which level you put place the floor so even you place on level one and you can have a um slope arrow and then you can change this so if you use default it will go level one which because we place this one on level one but it, you can still change that to ground floor so ground floor so uh, level at tail which is here if i change it to zero or even minus 200 something like that so hot at head if i change to one meter and okay and you will see this 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 
although I place it on level one, it's 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 actually um, at about ground level. So if I go level, see minus two hundred from from current current level, which is if I change that to relative current level ground floor. So actually that's ground floor. If I see it, create a new one. One meter, so it's one meter from ground floor. It's not from, so that's uh, that might be a little bit confusing, but but uh, yeah, you just remember that if once you set this level, so you will not be able to control it using this. Okay, so yeah, that's it for today, and uh, uh, I'll see you next time.